Asta e un bon. Nu știu, dragi. Asta e un bon. 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 What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's really got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This place? <coughs> Must be you okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Oh. You think good? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I oh, got right. this. Hello. Oh, let's go, let's go. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. So we need that way. Just keep. Enter. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there is going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Oh. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? <laughs> you ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed, you have. I don't mind, I don't. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Oh. Teodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. Yeah, John yeah, Marshall. Yeah, yeah. All mine, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know, you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, 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 so how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. Oh, it's too nice. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy, I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde. 
Winter. Uh, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Jadi tinggal dah satu orang ya. Salute. Nah, mari. Ada mission. Hey there, girl. Mission to. Grave robbers? You think he's taken us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Oh. I said you took your time. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for everything. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. 
Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What spaghetti? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. <laughs> Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't Lame call beer. him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. Cavallo. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh... Days. But we can finally move forward now. Yeah. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Yeah. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack! How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? So, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, <laughs> let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Yeah. No Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Yeah, well, spend time with your family. Get them to the. He's back, alright. Oh, here they are, Pilot. Hey, make some room for me. Come on, I'm going to go. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get Hey, hey, how about a song? Huh? Oh, yeah. Hot the air. Let me shoot now. Play us away. Let me go. Play us away. Let me hear him, more. Un par de ojos. Cielito lindo de contrabando. Ah, you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Loiter and suspiciously as usual. Uh, I'm just I trying to give you all your homework. I'm going to give you all your homework. I'm going to give you all your homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the lunar that has the sun in the middle of the world. I don't know. Can you see it? <laughs> we are ridiculous, <laughs> utterly. Oh. I ain't never been to a ball in my life, nor have I. If I am the I used to quite often. It could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. Oh, we are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we're going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> well done. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. Like, come, come this way. Uh, come, come this way. With a beautiful evening, it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli, 
As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Yes, <laughs> Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, go. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. <laughs> Si dia ke dalam tu, atau 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 ni profesional. Boy, nampang tu, nampang tak? The angry cowboys, you've arrived and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a confederate major in the war, I and mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. He but before hoped. you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Palash, ya do. Ke bol langga sikit dah. Toyu. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Oh. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Oh, Come in, Miss Claire. How was the show? I heard you went. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Sign me up for breakfast. 
Ah, Just I'm only joking with you. Oh, would you <laughs> like it? What? This cabaret show at the Theater Ramua. It's jolly fun. How are you all doing? Monsieur? I did no such thing. Uh, me, uh, uh, Mr. Lemure, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now you is not the time. <laughs> The ball. Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. Hey, you but mean? this man, this man loves Wait, hang darkies. <laughs> hey, you are <laughs> pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, what say you and me oh. cool off? Water. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. My boy, hang on, didn't you? Yeah, thank you too, but sit down mm -hmm. and calm down. Hey, boy, you know. Count to a thousand. Well, you know, I'm you. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I don't know. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh. 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 My lord, they're fantastic. Why you work? Oh. In the flat. Oh. 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 Excuse me. Are you alright? Are you alright? Uh, Mr. Orkis. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please you say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. <laughs> Good day, sir. How do you do, ma'am? How are you, ma'am? Bonjour, monsieur. Sir? How do you do? Oh, you don't care. Not in the meantime. Come on. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank Good you, Mr. Terry. Taken care of the telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Marie, Marie, Mary, find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Sorry. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of my sight.
kita Sekarang ni nak guna linap eh Cari info-info tentang Tu dah asyik Cornwall juga ni Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Yeah, we're going to let them be confidential. Very interesting. What the freak, man? You don't want to do that story yet, huh? Don't do that. Oh, sorry. Hello, sir. Sorry, yeah, orang yeah. orang kaya. Yeah. Hello. <coughs> Find anything? Sure. I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think, gentlemen, I think we're done here. <laughs> What did you find out? What's that? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the uh, one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Yeah. Well, on, eh? Here comes Lenny. All oh, right. Fuck, Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Let me see you take this. I don't think hey, so. Yeah. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Good idea, Kesa. Kesa. Chapter. Chapter four. Five. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Yeah. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. 